Smart Photos is one of the most versatile new features inside Perfect Photo Suite 9, and what makes it even more wonderful is that you actually have access to that same technology even when you're using a third-party application like Lightroom or Aperture. I have a group of images here, and I'd like to open up this photo and bring it into Perfect Black and White, all while creating a Smart Photo so I can re-edit it. To do that, I'm just going to right-click or control-click on my photo, go to Edit In, and choose Perfect Black and White. Now inside this dialog box, you want to make sure that you are editing a copy. We're going to leave our raw file original alone. And then you also want to make sure that you have your file format set to PSD. You will not have access to Smart Photos unless you select PSDs. And once you're done in here, go ahead and click Edit. And it will pop up this dialog box here. It's going to ask whether I'd like to edit a smart photo or a normal photo. I'm going to end up choosing smart photo, but you also have the ability to check this box that says always use this option. If you select this, it will always choose to edit a normal photo or a smart photo, whichever one is your choice, anytime you take a photo into the photo suite from Lightroom. I'm going to leave this off here and just click smart photo. Now once we're here inside Perfect Black and White, on the left hand side of my screen, I can go through and I can select something that I would like to add to my image. We've got lots of different favorite looks that you can choose from. I'm going to go up and select the Quick View browser so I can take a closer look at some of the ones I might want to apply. Let's go up and choose this one called On One Dark and Gritty. We'll click on that to apply it and it will add it to my photo. On the right hand side of my screen, I can make lots of other adjustments here. For instance, in the tone pane, I want to play around with my whites and blacks. Let's make those whites even brighter and let's darken those blacks a little bit. I'm going to add a whole bunch of detail to add some grit to the image. And then I'm also going to take the contrast and slide it over even more. Now let's scroll down and take a look at some of the other options that are here. Film grain and a vignette have been applied to this image. If we open up the vignette pane, you'll notice that it's added a very, very intense one. It's also gone in and added some very subtle film grain, just to add a little bit of grittiness into this photo. When I click apply, it's going to save all of these changes to my photo and dump me right back into Lightroom. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll click apply. It'll add all of these changes. And here we are back in Lightroom with my original image and my new black and white copy. Now, if you'd like to go in and make a change to this image, let's say I'm looking at this and I don't really like the intensity of the vignette. It's way too much for me. I can control click or right click on my image again, go down to edit in and choose perfect black and white one more time. Now, the most important part about going back into the photo suite here is choosing the option Edit Original. We want to edit this smart photo. We don't want to create another copy of a copy. We want to go back in and make changes to the effect that's already been applied to this photo. So make sure when you're jumping back into the suite after you've created a smart photo, you always choose this option. Now let's go down and click Edit. It's going to bring us right back into perfect black and white. And you'll notice once we're in here, on the right hand side of my screen, all of the tone changes we made, like adding all of that detail, adjusting my white and black sliders and my contrast sliders, they're all exactly the same. If I scroll down, you'll notice that the film grain and the vignette panes are also exactly the same. Because this is re-editable, all of those adjustments are exactly where they were when we previously edited this image. So let's go ahead and change the vignette. Right now the style is set to normal, let's swap it over to subtle. That looks a lot better and it's not quite as intense and in your face. Let's also go up to the film grain pane and lower the amount a little bit. It might be just a bit too much for this photo, so I'm going to move that down. And then we can scroll back up and let's make some other changes to the tone pane. Let's make the image a little bit darker there, there we go. We're going to intensify those blacks even more, and let's go in and brighten up those whites a bit. With all of these adjustments, I'm done, and I'm going to click Apply one more time. It's going to save all those changes, and it's going to bring me right back into Lightroom. Once I'm back, you'll notice that the changes automatically popped up, 
And if I go back to my library view, I still only have two photos, my original and my re-editable smart photo that I worked with inside Perfect Black and White.